Mike, it's March, and coming up is Brain Awareness Week and uh, World Sleep Day. What's going on in the brain when you're asleep? Well, that's a great question, and it's not really simple. A lot of things are happening. One of the really important things that happen is the brain is, is very busy, in, especially in the rapid eye movement or the REM sleep period when you're dreaming. Uh-huh. It's very busy cleaning out the noise in your brain. And basically, you've collected all kinds of information during the day that's uh, uh, some important and some unimportant. And unless it's, it's, it passes a certain threshold from the brain's interpretation of its value, the brain wants to get rid of it, does not, does not want to accumulate meaningless uh, change. And so basically it does this in a period of REM sleep. It's basically reducing background noise in the brain. And uh, that's really important for you to keep things straight. You could say you want to focus on things that matter to your brain. Your brain is smart enough in its processing to do that. So sleep is kind of like the Marie Kondo of the brain. Oh, that's a good, that's a great... It's it's cleaning out irrelevant information or no longer relevant, my hotel room number from two nights ago. That's a beautiful example. But, of course, your day is filled with information, with things happening to you that aren't really very important to you in the long term. What else is going on in the brain? Well, in one period, you're cleaning out the noise, and in another epoch of sleep, it's strongest in slow-wave sleep. It also occurs to some extent in the sort of moderate uh, sleeping periods. The brain is actually consolidating information that it's judged to be important to it. So if, if, I, if I've seen something really important in the previous day or if I've gone through some learning process or period and I, I've had changes that would matter to the brain, the brain basically is rehearsing those. It's, it's burning them in. It's consolidating that information. It's making them from, a, you could say, a t- sort of tem- temporary record to a more permanent record. And that's a really important process that it's undergoing every night. It's why you can actually look at the, where you are, how far you've advanced in learning at the end of a training period. And then you find to your shock that the next day, if you examine the performance abilities of a person, they, after sleep, they're actually better. His sleep has made it stronger, stronger than immediately at the, after the end of training. So it's almost like magic. Sleep is almost like magic. It makes some temporary change that's, that's still a little tentative, relatively strong and reliable over the following epoch of sleeping. So the issues that you've been grappling with during the day right. that, uh, that may find their way into your dreams even, Right, are, are issues that the, that the brain is working on and resolving and consolidating right. gains right. on while Well, it's doing two wonderful things. It's getting rid of things that it judges not to be really very important. Mm-hmm. It, so it's operating as a kind of filter. And then it's strengthening those things that it judged to have been important in the previous day. It's consolidating them. It's burning them in so that they'll be in there for the long term. And what's going on chemically in the brain? While you're well, sleeping? That's that's re- really interesting. It's it, the brain is make, basically going through a period also of of sort of chemical rejuvenation, so and and that's equally important. I mean, the brain basically has to recover from all of the all of the incredibly intensive activity that's occurred in the course of the waking hours of the day, and it has to basically restore all of its chemical resources and supply. You can think of it as cleaning out the noise consolidation of information that's important to it and then rejuvenating itself. Mike, what happens when you're not getting a good night's sleep? Well, there are piles of trash in there that nobody is removing and then you're not, the the important things that have happened in the previous day are just fleeting away because they're not being consolidated and then there's been no rejuvenation. So you're going to wake up the next day with a brain that's unprepared to live a life the next day. And it affects your thinking? It affects every aspect of your thinking and your attention control and how bright you feel. And, I, you know, you can ruin the next day anytime you want just by having a ruinous night of sleep. Sleep's important. I think I've learned a lot, but I should sleep on it. Very funny. <laughs>